you know people think. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Ah, uh, pretty good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Good to see you. Kind of piratey. Oh, sorry. You're looking kind of piratey. <laughs> yeah, I got a man bun on. Hmm. <laughs> Keep the hair out of my face. <laughs> How's school going? Ah, uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I showed my game to one of the uh, teachers, and he was super impressed. Hmm. Hmm. And yeah, I'm learning a lot of math stuff, and also just a lot of stuff about game mechanics and like what makes a good game and different strategies and psychology and stuff like that to do with games. So it's been pretty good. Okay. How, like you're going to a school, right? Like it's physical and you got to go there for every yep. day kind of thing and other people in your classes and stuff like that. Yep. That's always good. Uh, 34, 34 guys and three girls. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprising. <laughs> no. You mean in in your year for the program kind of thing? Yeah. And so you all take the same courses? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's 34 of us in the same same program. Oh, okay. Okay. And and what about Luciel? How's that going? How is how's your other team calls? Good. Um, I couldn't make the last one because uh, they they scheduled it at a time where I'm stuck at school and I couldn't get home in time. Mm -hmm. But we're alternating, so the next meeting and the one after I will definitely be able to attend and then maybe they'll be able to change the other ones for me. I'm not sure. Mm. What did you think about this week's exercises? Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Lineage. Yeah. Uh, I haven't finished everything this week actually yet. That's, That's one of the things that I'm, I'm trying to get to today. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically, I've got as far as the I've done everything up, like everything up until the conversation killers. I did that, and then I'm having to play catch up right now. Since that, <laughs> yeah, I know I sort of pop them all at once when I when I I don't know I I don't I'm not I can't I can't do it every day. Like the only thing I do every day is your game. <laughs> Fucking thing. Yeah. Well. Fine. <laughs> How many colonies you got now? I have, let's see. Uh, quite a few now. Um, two, three, four. I got nine and one more that's almost finished. What? Yep. You got nine? <laughs> I sort of, I, I stopped after a while because, I mean, it's a lot of fucking things to control. You got nine plus another one coming in? So you must be going downwards, eh? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of going all over the place in my area. <laughs> <laughs> I almost thought of sending a sneak attack. At <laughs> Just I know. Hard. I've been kind of worried about that, actually, because I don't have a lot of defenses yet. <laughs> Do you have do you have orbital batteries yet, or I mean uh, ground batteries? Maybe. <laughs> so I have. It's funny because I've got. I'll tell you, I, I got orbital drones and ground batteries, and I just figured between those two things, it should be able to defend the planet, or no? What like? Um. Yeah. That, that that's really good against uh, like planetary invasion. You're probably going to be good, but uh, they could still bomb you pretty easily actually oh you, you need like orbital orbital defenses like the orbital drones they're just in the atmosphere really but if you have say a space station yeah and maybe a couple ships hanging around above your planet then you'll be pretty good for for orbital how's anyone supposed to know the, the strategy <laughs> you're the only guy who knows <laughs> I know, I know. There's no way to know right now. It's just trial and error for everyone because I don't have a, a completed strategy guide or anything else. As if I'm going to go to war with you, fuck. I mean, <laughs> do you know what's funny? I only, I, like, I'm not building any ships, but I built these two little frigates for some reason. And I'm just kind of setting them out on patrol and thinking, you know, 
you know, it's funny because you keep on, I keep on building infrastructure, keep on like, and I guess you can only go to number four on everything. Is that? Um, no, some of them level four, some of them only level two, some of them level three, some of them only have one level. Because like the thing is like the social, like sometimes the social developments or the educational developments, it's like one was six months and you get five points and then it's five years, you get five points. Like it's a frick of a, to get research points going or it's some of the math's a bit off because it's, it just seems like there's a lot of time to get a little reward kind of thing. Well, you're doing pretty good, actually. You're one of the top players right now. And if I had the leaderboard set up, you could see that you're probably like number three, maybe I'm guessing. Like you're, you're actually doing better than me, even though I have more colonies, you have way more research points. You have more technologies completed. You're doing, you're doing a little Intel, eh? <laughs> well, yeah, I check up on the other players, see, see who's doing what. I'm trying not to use it to cheat, but just to see, you know, <laughs> I like what this. people are doing. <laughs> Vader has control of the universe. Well, I, I mean, I'm trying, like I'm, I'm keeping on it. Like I'm really trying to, um, like how how did the other person like why are they farther ahead like what are they doing um like one person has uh like because you get like one research point for every telescope study you've done two for every survey you've done one of the players has done 790 telescopes <laughs> and i've done like maybe 110 or something like <laughs> he's, he's, he's playing all the time yeah <laughs> And another one too, like some somewhere in the 500, 600 range. I was like, holy shit, like I can't even imagine. So, so then their research is really high. Yeah, they've got like over 1,500, one of them. 1,500? Yeah. Jesus. Fuck yeah. Jesus. Because you know what I found with, with, with the telescopes is that when it was slower, I did more of them. And as soon as it got fast, it's just so fast. Because before you go away, you come back, you do it. But now it's... It, it, it was very irritating. Interesting. It, you think you get it more. Like right now I'm doing the research so I can double my metal alloys because those freaking like everything's on those metal alloys. Yeah. doesn't matter what yeah. you have. The metal alloys is going to be the thing that's going to keep you down because that's what you need for your ships. Yeah, but also once you start building a lot of military, it's lanthanides that are going to get you. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then when you start building a lot of colonies, it's organics. Oh, really? And once you get augmented metals, uh, you'll no longer need ha uh, halogens or actinides for anything. Oh. They'll actually be replaced with two more resources, uh, alkalis and alkalines, <laughs> which you'll need for like uh, planetary shields and jump gates and like higher technology weapons. <laughs> the fuck, it, the research, it just takes so freaking long. These things, like I got 35 years, that, like, and you got to choose which one you're going. Like I know I should be choosing the uh, anti gravity to get to whip around, so I'm sure that's such a, that's an advantage if you can you're faster than everyone. But it's like 35 years for me or something. Well, yeah, and then you're you're spending all that time, and other people might be working on military or they're working on infrastructure stuff, and yeah. I know. Like it's what's interesting, I think in other games, everyone kind of gets the same research. In this game, you really choose the research path, and it's really going to have a huge impact on you if you're patient enough to wait for it i mean how many people are still in the game uh i think like 25 30 oh really well that's good yeah a few poor, maybe five more people joined this week actually so but also a few you might have, you must have seen like a few people disintegrated as well again how long do you, does it disintegrate like how long before you don't do anything before it disintegrates uh so the first time if you don't log in for seven days, it'll it'll wait till seven days the first time, and then it'll send you a message and nothing will happen except for a message saying, hey, you better log in. After that point, if you continue not to log in, every three days, you'll receive an email, plus your government will degrade one level, <laughs> giving you like shittier bonuses and stuff. And once once your government reaches anarchism, uh, your, your empire is destroyed, and it just like, just dissolves into chaos basically and any planets that you have just revert to regular planets with advanced native species so they don't have you can't take over facilities and stuff like that no at that point all that stuff was lost <laughs> you know oh yeah so, so i see you're you're researching robotic mining four yeah. years 10 months yeah. yeah i mean yeah once it gets to this point i am i because the first time i made the game or the first time we tested it, 
um, people just whip through the research so fast and like within, you know, a month and a half, all of the research and all of the fields was already finished. And, oh. you know, what do you, what do you do then? So I tried to tier this. So you get a lot of research early on and it's fun. And then it starts to slow down a little more and you got to build up more to get the research and the research itself becomes the thing that takes the longest. Whereas, you know, you can still colonize and telescope and, and build stuff and, and fight. Uh, and that, that can happen all the time. I the think research the, becomes the long-term thing at that I, point. I think like the, looking at the math, I think like something like the interstellar academies and the cybernet, like some of these larger, longer things should be giving you like 20 or 30 research points, like not five. Well, they do give you more um, because the, the plus five is, is also added to all the bonuses that you get. Oh, so like on your planet Enar seven, you have educational developments, which give you plus five, but you also have the artificial intelligence, bio longevity, social developments, three, the Alkabir drive, quantum computing, neuroinformatics, species advantage, seismic stability, and low maintenance. All of those add like probably about 200%. So you're getting actually 15 research points from that, the, that plus five. Okay. So, you, so you can, of course, you can go into anyone's account and look at what you're doing. <laughs> Well, yeah, I try not to cheat like that, but yeah. I'm, do you, you have know, a meta? Do you, do you like have a meta, like your own scoreboard that you can kind of check everyone at the same time? No, no, I want to build something like that, but I don't, I have to log in manually to everyone's account. That's a drag. But I do have like a, a secret password that gets me into anyone's account. I don't have to know their password. So and it also doesn't log them as, as, as actually online or anything. Does anyone... Like, is anyone warring with anyone yet? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, one of the guys who's pretty high up there, um, he's at war with two different empires right now. D does he have, like, how many bat? Like, does he have a huge navy now, or? Um, not. Yeah, let me just see. Like, what's, what's the biggest navy right now? I mean, I got um, two Corvettes. I, I, I'd be an easy kill, except for my, I think, I guess it'd be tough to. Uh... Let's see. I, I was checking on this guy because he is at war with a couple of people. I wanted to see. Are the are the guys who are ahead the same guys who are winning in the last game? No, no. Really? Um, you're doing better than any of them, including me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's good. So these other guys are like pro gamers who are just like into it and they're all day long playing i guess so yeah i mean 760 re or telescopes is crazy what the, where I mean, is he like where in the game is he uh he is up in the top far right okay so he's on the other end of the galaxy yeah i think it'd be cool like i guess if, if everyone keeps playing at some point we're all going to be massive right then we're going to have some massive fights going on oh yeah yeah like in the alpha game people had uh like fleets of like 180 dreadnoughts and, and stuff like that and they got some pretty giant battles going on and like 80 dread and so what and like seven super carriers with 50 assault fighters each so you have like 3500 assault fighters in one battle and stuff like that how do you is it just like you press the button and they go at it and then you, you've got so your, your mathematics and in the end bob's the winner but you don't see anything that happens kind of thing yeah sort of yeah basically so your military will fight by themselves, like basically like AI. If someone comes near them, they'll fight them if they're an enemy automatically. Um, but also you can go to people's planets, bomb them, and you can also attack neutral neutral ships and planets, which won't automatically declare war, but once they find out, they might declare war on you. Like I was thinking of making a fleet and then just sending it into the galaxy and just like randomly attacking people just for the fun of it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, because, yeah I encourage it, it. Because they can't. Can, this Sorry? guy's at a war with three empires now. <laughs> oh. Is he a lot bigger than them all? Do they, can they band together against him? Yeah, yeah, you can create alliances, which means uh, you share you, you share everything you see and uh, yeah, some other advantages. Yeah, and so he's gonna... got, he's got one battle cruiser, uh, Two destroyers, a corvette, a frigate, a light carrier, 
Uh, he also has a defense space station. And yeah, that's it for military though, but he's doing some damage. I mean, I, I, I know that I, I, I haven't been building anything military. Yeah. I just yeah, figured it's better to build a resort in the beginning. Like nobody's going to be able to really touch you. I think in the beginning, right? Yeah. And then, if they do, then you just put everything into war. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, this guy's got now 810 telescope studies. So he's getting 810 research points just from the things he's telescoped. Jesus. So I, I got to start doing that telescope shit more. It does add up. And also just surveying planets adds up fast. Yeah. But, but you know what? A lot of these, like, there's way more ocean planets this this time around. At least wherever I was in the last game, I was like, I had no ocean planet. Now there's tons, but most of them are like low productivity or they're low, like they have low numbers. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the conditions of the planets are not always good, but I so did try it, to make more of them. Can you terraform an ocean planet and then raise all the numbers to a good amount? Is that the best yep. thing to do kind of thing? Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll it'll fix the atmosphere type, the temperature, um, the weather, and if it's not an ocean planet, it'll turn it into one. But still, you have the gravity and the seismic stability and the size. None of those will change, um, but you can change the seismic stability and the gravity with uh, some in installations later. So, are you? terraforming yet no i don't have terraforming yet i'm researching it right now <laughs> so i'm ahead of you on that one yeah a couple players have been terraforming already though and it's yeah again good. just depends on what what kind of avenue you take for sure well see it'd be interesting to see other people and then their their research where they're at i mean it's, it's like what would be the interesting side of this side of the game is everyone's a thinker right like this is more of a thinking game and so you want to see data, you want to see stats. I mean, it seems to me you got like one, you got a few layers, but then the next layer of, let's say, you come in with a whole new set of uh, whatever around your battles. Like this is good for the strategy, but then you need a whole new component of battles. Where you can I mean, yeah, ultimately it would be nice to see your ships fighting and stuff too, right? Like some nice animations. But I mean, at this point, yeah, a uh, very detailed strategy guide would be very nice, obviously. Explain, explain everything, how it works and what different, you know, all the combat and no! lots of stuff. So what about that chat room thing? Can, is that, can we get that chat room going? Yeah, so I'm gonna inspect the chat room today and create a full plan of what I think we should do next. And then I'll I'll give I'll show you that plan. Maybe we can talk about it or whatever. And then I'll I'll get started on it. Okay. Because if we can, if, if we can take the spell, and then generate it in, you know, have a way to generate the spell into those chat rooms. Like we've got three things, right? We've got a way to frame the chat rooms. We've got the the spell generator, and then we've got the multiple chat rooms, right? So we want to link those together so they're all functional and feeding one another and then we've got like a fucking killer app man once we've done that then we we use lisiel to test it out and then yeah. man i mean yeah so i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna really look at it today and, and come up with like a a complete plan of what i think we should do as far as connecting them and, and, and finishing them but like just right off the top of my head uh, a couple different options with that like um one is the you know during the process where they create the chat room at the moment it, it automatically you can choose the different lenses or you can choose random uh the different cards i mean um but perhaps what we should do like one idea is to basically the facilitator would also have a choose a remedy premium account maybe you'd have to have that to be a facilitator right uh so then when they're when they go they be a button somewhere in there choose the remedy maybe where you go create new chat or something right. uh, then it would take you to that and perhaps at that point you can again choose the different cards and stuff or you can like choose a set that you already have saved in your choose a remedy folder maybe yeah 
Um, did you see the, the thing I sent you in Facebook that has the seven levels? Uh, just did you send it today? Yeah, should be a picture of the. It's basically three spells in a row in a, in a list. So of okay. seven, so there's seven spells. So it's kind of like each one of those is the process. Ah, did you see it? Let me see if I. I, yeah, I'm just trying to pull it up right now. I'll, I'll resend it. Just wait a sec. How's your dating going? Is that did that work out or no? Yeah, yeah, I'm still seeing the same person. Ah, very nice. Yeah. They just sent it to you in Facebook. Okay. Look at this blurry. <laughs> so what, what percentage of the game of planets people dropped out from people who started Probably about half, it looks like. So that's that's an upgrade from last game, right? Oh yeah. And you got twenty five people that are still in it. That's pretty good. Half. Huh? Yeah. And yeah, I haven't done any. You know, I haven't made any effort to try to get more people, but a few people have trickled in anyway. I don't know from where. I don't think you know. I mean, if they come in, do you know Olivier? He had JavaScript problems or something. Did you fix that? I hope so. I have seen him playing. Because he said he started again, he went in, and then there was all this kind of background scripting that came up that he showed me that didn't look like was supposed to be there. And that was just that was just on Wednesday. Well, I hope I fixed it. I don't I you might want to send him a little message and just ask because if he, if he hasn't communicated with you since then, he might not have told you yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see the the thing you sent me here. So there's a value lens and a choice lens, but no convo lens. Yeah. Well, the convo that's the convo type in between. That's the silver thing. I just I have it as more of a, a word. Right. I made I made a second set just to kind of uh, see if you can see see this. I put them in in these two just to kind of try out. A different type of uh, card set. So, so anyway, it's the same concept, right? But this time, it's like, and that's what to me would be a next step is you you get the condo types, but then you you do seven of them in a row, and that's your ideal job. Like, I want to figure out a way that someone can make a living creating a process with seven of these where like the first one is first contact, right? Anytime you meet someone, this is what you do. The second one is let's say needs analysis. Now I think I have gifting for mine. So I'm gonna do one for mine and then show how it can be done. And then, you know, you could just custom design anything for people. <clears throat> I wanna show people how they can make a living with this stuff as facilitators or teachers. I like that. And then we've got, you can show people how to make money with it. They are going to give you a percentage a month, right? So is that, do you need time to sort of work on your plan? Is this? Uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to sit down alone and do that. But so I guess, yeah. Um, yeah. I'll do that like shortly here and probably message you in a couple hours with what I got. Okay. Um, I guess as far as okay, so the LCL we're gonna use them for testing. Uh, obviously, the choose the remedy is basically ready for that part. Um, the chat room is, I think, yeah. So, is there a way? I mean, one thing, if we could dupl duplicate what we have in a sense, um, put LCL as a brand, 
and have it so they're their own administrator kind of thing? For choose a remedy? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not sure what you mean. What would that look well, like? Well, I mean, I'm just saying like, like there's sort of tiers of, of how much control someone has. And so like, let's say we want to, part of the licensing would be they could sort of uh, put their brand on it and bring in their own people. And then that, and it's specifically to them. There's good, and there'd be like other people doing it kind of thing. Rather than just one central place that everyone just signs up to and What do you think about that? So it'd be something like lucielle dot choose maybe? Yeah, like something, something like that. that. Something like that. And then but something that just they they have their brand up there. Maybe they can choose their background picture. Um and then that then that's the beginning of them using it to generate what they want to do with it. Sort of like and only the people that join like the the people the only people that are part of their little thing are the people that join their thing yeah yeah right so they they would be able to control who has premium and free access and stuff like that yeah and that would be like and i think that would be like that would be a shared knowledge community. Like what we're doing is we're creating tools to create a shared knowledge community. And so they're, they're basically, they have that, right? They got 144 people. So they're perfect to be a test group. Yeah. Because, because the, they're going to get the synergy wheel and they're going to get the flow wheel. So the way the chat rooms are set up is it's based upon that, right? It's based upon the synergy wheel. So we're, the languaging is going to be matching. Can you send me the synergy wheel again, then? Just yeah, so I can make sure I'm keeping yeah, on track. I'll just do it right now. And I think the chat room will be big, obviously. Because, yeah, <clears throat> like right now, um, with our, at least with my group, we basically have the weekly calls, but that's it. No one is really using the discussion forums for anything. Right. So it's just, it's just basically a once a week chat with everyone and it, it usually amounts to nothing but a check-in and then we're done. I know it's not good enough. Like I, I'm pushing on sort of maybe being the head guy for the discussions and start to bring in the combo types. Like I think beneath each one of the tasks, there should be a, a discussion board for everyone to discuss on the team that particular task. And yeah. <clears throat> and I think they're, I think they're trying to avoid that right now, actually. Uh, from what I gather, like they want to spend the first three months just basically chatting and getting everyone comfortable with each other and not talk about any goals at all. And then, uh, and then the next three months they start to talk about, I, I assume at that point they start to talk about goals and what we're going to do together as a group. And then, and then the, the last three months, I think is where I, we're actually doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, no, no, I get, but I, I don't think you maybe understood me no. to have a discussion under each thing not to just discuss goals, to discuss the actual exercise that you just went through. Oh, yeah. And so, and then if it's right underneath the specific task, then it's very context relevant and you're, you're right there. You just watched it, you, you did it, and it says, you know, reflect, boom. And then to me, that's where we bring the convo types and you go, okay, here we're going to do a healing convo. We just looked at our lineage. You know, this is more for healing. And then, uh, if we're looking at fields, that might be a critical analysis or something like that, right? So it's starting to teach the convo types, and I put that forward, and they're going to do uh, their dividend, their reading about that to see. But I'm I'm aiming at sort of being the head communication stimulator for the discussions because she they said that some of the teams are using it, but some aren't, just like yours, right? Some of them are using your tools, some of them aren't. You mean? No, some are using the discussion boards and some aren't. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I just put a couple of posts in the general. I think, you know, there's a group that has everyone in it. And I just put a post. But I mean, I, after that second week, I didn't get, I had one person contact me <laughs> after mm. uh, all the stuff I put forward. So I, I don't think people are 
are communicating that much other than I think it may be just everyone's just got enough on their plate just to keep up to it, you know? Uh, yeah, everyone on my team is definitely super busy doing like 10 different things. A few of them haven't been able to get to the homework, including me this time. Yeah, um, it adds up, eh? It's, it's like, and then it's a little overwhelming because you've got like two, three weeks to catch up. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think if we can create this chat room technology in the right way, like they'll really get like they'll really galvanize around it, I think for sure. Like we got the perfect test group, right? We got a whole year, you know. Yeah. And people eager to work together and talk. And we're both in it and I'm on the inside. Like it, it couldn't get better, right? Like we couldn't get a better test group than this. You, you understand I was set up. We, you know, we ah. <laughs> Have, have you told anyone about like choose a remedy.com in the CL? No. Uh, okay. Yeah. They've used oh. it. I, they, yeah. They've used it. I used it with the team once. And okay. I, in the, in the last chat I had with them, I put it forward as being um, like, it could actually be introduced as one of the things, the weekly things. So yeah. they like it. They really like it. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> Yeah. I mean, even if everyone, like, for example, like just the way it is now, if everyone on in the CL was just given a premium account, it would be interesting. Because I think a lot of them like this, the, you know, divination and the ability to do that on their own for their own reasons. And that would kind of, you know, it would, kind of, I think it would kind of like bring energy towards our projects here a little more like because everyone would be always using our, our technology already. And then, oh, there's a chat room now too. That's being implemented, that's connected. So yeah. I think that's the plan, Stan, I mean. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> so. But the thing is like, if we had like, we need like from the management accounts, like the thing that you've done for me, like we need some sort of like, it maybe it doesn't have to be their brand and their thing, but I would like the people coming in when they sign up, there should be, let's say, a, a, a Luciel, are you part of Luciel kind of thing? Like like input a number from Luciel. Like we have to have some way of when we go to a company or we go to an organization, we go to a group, that they come in within that group. So then I can click on, so I know where they fit. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a huge list of thousands of names of that yeah. have no contacts, right? So. And at some point, I want to be able to take those names and put them in the CRM, because again, we have to, we have to, these are all potential customers. So we have to have the CRM set up ahead of time. And I'm thinking HubSpot. HubSpot's a Vancouver company and it's a, it's a free CRM. Okay. I don't know if you've looked at it, but um, it's, it's already well, done, right? And we also, just, yeah, with the different companies and organizations, they should be like you should be able to see everything and control that somehow, but also they should be segmented so that, yeah, when you look at the, the admin thing, you can say, oh, this is a Lysiel person, this is a this person, yeah. da, da, da. and then also when when their facilitators or their administrators or whatever logged in, they only see their stuff, their people, yeah, yeah. And, they, and they can control that, and, yeah. and then behind the scenes, you, I, whatever, control the kind of the whole thing, yeah, the Darth Vader. <laughs> The not Darth Vader, but Light Vader, we'll yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And I think obviously, like, we need to get our chat room technology going so that, you know, we, let's see all the different groups can try it a couple times in their own individual groups. And then, but it's sort of like behind the scenes being, being prepared for a big 144 person thing right well do, well do you see that now if you look at where we have issue coalitions right that's essentially the, the 13 teams their topics right i thought it was 12 teams of 12 okay whatever the frick they are i, I, I there's 13 <laughs> yeah. because there's the lucl team in the middle oh um man. but because we have issue coalitions then we have the, the shared knowledge community because like let's say we create a co at some point, what we're doing, I think, is those teams at LCL will create coalitions. They're, they're, that could be one of the big thing, right? If that's how you build this larger network. 
So then we have the shared knowledge community, which is broken down. And then we have the superhero teams and then we have the media team. So maybe we're going backwards. We're not going from media teams forward. We're going from the shared knowledge community backwards. And, and then they'll make their little media teams hmm. because that's something I could put forward again in turn, because we're just designing the second part right now. So we're right at a, a you know, whatever we come up with, I can put forward um, to these guys. So whatever plan you come up with, you know, again, you know, I, I think we've got a good chance of uh, implementing it. Definitely. And I'm, I'm curious, what do you know about the Imaginal Collective people? Like, is this the same group or is this something there? This is two people that are part of, I think they're in the program, but they're, they're sort of like you, they're you with another person kind of thing. And they, they're custom designing this because they're so, you know, supportive of LCL. Like LCL has got a lot of friends, right? So was, mm -hmm. we do well there. They, they are already looking at going into other countries with the training program. So, you know, we can piggyback that or we're going to be a big part of it, I think. So the Imaginal Collective is just, I think, another programmer or two that built the Imaginal Collective and is now custom designing this within it because they are they want to figure out how to do it because then they could sell the same thing to other people, right? And Luciel is, is getting it because they're the ones who are getting it, right? So oh, they're exactly like us. Yeah. <laughs> they're another, no another couple of key, key people that are trying to like get the technology out there and also like string it along to this group. And so that's fine. I like it. So then I think just, yeah, we just have to be clear about what we're doing and, and make it always separate from that. Yeah. So that, so that they end up, um, yeah, the Imaginal Collective ends up being more of what you know, what they've got going on now, what they're trying to do, which is not the same as what we're trying to do at all. No, but I think it's pretty big. I think they could be good allies. And I, I, I like the way they've got their course structured. So right now I'm, I'm beginning to structure my own course and I'll sort of, I'll, I'll kind of do it pretty similarly. Like the Imaginal Collective has a course? Well, no, they're the ones who put the course together on the tech side, right? Oh. They're, they're the programmers behind what we're going through in Lincea. Oh, so oh, okay. So, do you have any idea of like how long they've been connected? I not. They haven't been working on this a long time. I don't know how long they've known each other, but I think maybe five months, six months, maybe. Oh, so not I wonder what it would have looked like, you know, last year or the year before for Luciel's training program if they didn't have. Oh, they didn't have any of this. This is all new. So that was just like paper and pencils and video calls or something. Hmm. Yeah, no, for two years, they flailed. I wouldn't say they flailed because they, you know, they got great people and they meet, but only of the 12 teams, I think only two teams actually created something. So the reason they create this course was because they realized, you know, the teams needed support in terms of, you know, getting to their shadows and um, all the things which teams that go through, right? And then we spent oh. the last like six to eight months meeting weekly to come up with what they're coming up with now. And, and I'm seeing like they're, they're, they put together quite a lot of work. I mean, there's seven people who are just full time on this, eh? Well, they're bringing in a lot of money too. If you do Starting, the math. You yeah. Know, it's 8,000 pounds a month or something. It's oh, not, really? not small. Okay. Well, it's getting divvy. Like I'm actually, I, I might get some, so. Um, nice. Well, like if they have, uh, like I'm paying 60 bucks a month. I assume that's the same for everyone. Yeah. If you multiply that by, 144 it's 86 140 dollars a month oh wow so I, it, I wonder how like, many scholarships there's probably a lot of scholarships too <laughs> yeah i mean it's not a million dollars it's a hundred thousand bucks a year right you know for seven people that's not much but it is money and so yeah they've got the business side of it i think in a good start well and this is just i think what they want to do is once <clears> this is done then they'll kind of take it out into the real world as, as a larger program is already created, right? They don't have to do all the videos and stuff. So, yeah, I think from a business angle, it's, it's good. I mean, I did have to agree that all the videos I made with them are just within the program. So anything, I, I thought I'd have access to them and I could use them on my own, but no, uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I did my business side. I've been totally, they have my card set. They have two, like I'm the only guy giving real tangible things, right? So I, I haven't, but you can still, 
do you i mean can you still sell your card set on your own of is course that, is, of course but i mean okay, if yeah. i got like if 144 people gave me hundred dollars for the card sets then great me and you would have cash to play with so i i haven't yeah, yeah. pushed that because i didn't want to but i i did they, they say they have equanimity exchange equal exchange that's one of their main principles so i'm hoping at some point that i, I can work something out in terms of the card sets because that's it's an actual tangible physical item right that's that's very different from the other people that are contributing yeah i don't have a sense of what anyone else has contributed i saw some videos about them talking but your stuff is the only thing i've seen so far yeah but maybe yeah. it's your stuff is just is early on and then their stuff comes later i don't know yeah yeah everyone's stuff is going to kind of come in at some point i'm not quite sure like they've we put forward what we would do then they went very point by point of what we would do and how and what they're doing is sort of sequencing it and filling in the gaps so you know i can see them I, I, i'm assuming you're keeping you're keeping me secret right like you have a programmer you haven't told them that he's no, part they of the team or anything? You. no they know it's you oh okay <laughs> All right, that's fine. <laughs> I just I, I didn't make Damn. a point of it, but I did tell Olivier that the person who did Game of Planets, who also built the remedy, is in the program. So Okay. They know of you. All right. I I I'm not so I mean everything what I'm trying to be or I am being is very transparent and trying to make this work as well as I can without going into business details, which might not be too smart, but I just thought Let's just make it work without that. And then once it's working, then you can negotiate something. But I didn't want to be a stickler about intellectual property from the get go because that yeah, yeah. Just, it just irritates me really. Well, yeah. And, and I mean, you can never sell your, I, you could technically sell your intellectual property, but unless they know everything about it, it doesn't make any sense for anyone to buy it or, or steal it or keep it because yeah you're you're always able to make more things based on it and integrate it with the more other things they don't know anything about and yeah so i think you're pretty safe there yeah and and considering you know their use guidance i mean they're they're living by spiritual integrity i mean if somebody's going to rip you off like hopefully these guys aren't the guys but um things change when a lot of money's coming in but i i hope yeah that. yeah and like I don't know about your like the other teams, but I'd say I have I think I think twelve people on my team, and I'd say three or four of them are pretty money centric and business orientated for sure. And they're like they're always talking about all these projects they got going on, and they're 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 but not just projects, but like they're you know a business plan for this, and a you know a, a, they're going to market this thing and blah blah blah. So oh, okay. interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, like I've been with these guys a long time. And we really kind of get along well in a sense, you know, there is a group think there, but you know, it's not a bad one. Everyone really gets to give their say, but I imagine with your team, you just, you just met, you won't, you're only getting five minutes a week. <laughs> I mean, you get to watch them, but are you yeah. communicating with any of them? Um, a of them? Yeah. A couple of them. I had a, I had a two hour discussion with one of them after. Um, yeah. He's quite interesting. Um, and I've talked a little bit to another guy as well. And yeah, he's doing a lot of interesting stuff. Um, obviously a businessman as well, but also on the spiritual side of things, he's, he's quite active mm. and got some interesting projects going on. Which group are you in again? Uh, CD Global Communities. Okay. 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 So I don't want to take up your time talking too much if work can be done. Sure. Um, so we'll just check back in in a few hours after you yep okay i look forward to yeah. seeing it okay all right talk to you soon okay bye